Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we're carrying on with our little uh, caravan park tours this morning. Uh, I'm down in Towen. Uh, Edwards Caravan Park is the uh, location today. Um, I'm going to show you exactly where it is, where it's located, and uh, we'll see what's going on on the park. Let's go. Okay guys, so, there's the park here. This is the entrance. So just up ahead of you there, you got little arcades, that's Sandbank Road. Uh, just to the left of that junction, you've got Nightly's Fun Fair. You turn right at the junction, it'll take you up to uh, Crossroads of Town, the traffic lights. This road here is uh, Genk Road, you follow that. I'll bring you out on the side of uh, Golden Gate. So that's where we are. Let's head on in and take a look. So just as you head through the gates, um, you've got the uh, little reception office there. Some little uh, caravan sales. These little parking spaces here by the office, um, you only have half an hour. So uh, obviously that's to stop anyone parking and leaving the car there for the day. And then it's barriers to get in, which is camera operated. So when you stay, you give your number plate in, your registration, and uh, the barrier will open and close for you as you need it. So it's a great little location, as I've said. Um, you're right in the heart, really. You, it's away from the main road, um, but you're in the heart where you've got nightlies, um, all the amusements going on, little shops. That's got a little shop on the park there, which is not open at the moment. Yeah, we are just heading out to season a little bit now. I'm sure that will be open every day during, uh, during the season. A lot of puddles about today. We had a hell of a lot of rain yesterday. So just have a look at the uh, little map here. So there's different uh, sections on this park now. Um, this area here is called Merlin. It's all, uh, all numbered M. It starts at M1 all the way to M40. I've just been talking to Luke in the office and he's telling me this site now is uh, 18 acres. That's quite a size. So let's carry on. This is a park I spent a lot of time on in my uh, younger years. It was probably the camp who came to the most growing up. I brought my kids here when they were growing up. It was a great little site. So we'll have a wander into Maitland. Go left or right. You can see there's a ten mile an hour speed limit. So let me know guys, is this a park that you've stayed on? Do you own your caravan? Let me know in the comments. I think. Is that dead end? No, I can carry on. So this uh this end of the park, that's where your recycling is. Yeah. 
silly bins are for all your recycling and stuff. So we'll just carry on. Let's see what this, this brings us on. It's must be about 25, 30 years since uh, one. Yeah, it was about 30 years since I've been on this site. I've lived over here for oof, how long now? 22 years or something. So yeah, it's a good, uh, it's a good while since I've been on here. For anyone who's not uh, stayed in town before, I'm not sure where it is. It's uh, just outside Rill, about five minutes away. Loads going on in town these days. You've got the big market. Uh, you've got two two big fairgrounds. Lots of little shops, cafes. There's plenty going on. You're only a couple of minutes from the A55, which leads on to uh, out towards Conway, Anglesey, Snowdonia. So it's the 17th of October today. That's why it's looking a little bit quiet here, coming towards the end of the season, as I said. Like I was saying, this is the uh, Merlin section. Uh, Luke was telling me it's uh, you've got one part of the park which is eight and a half months tenancy, and one is uh, ten and a half months. And I'm sure he said the Merlin was the uh, ten and a half months. That's where we came in, just down there. We just done a little loop. And then caravans there. Let's see what's happening around here. There used to be a little path back of the park somewhere here. It's like a shortcut through to Town Road. It's bring it out by the church. I'm not sure if it's still open. You can see it, I'll show you the you see the park is there uh, well maintained. Always has been, to be honest. Always been a well looked after park. Right. So yeah, this is just like a little cul-de-sac if you like. Um, you could cut through on foot or through to the other side but I won't because it's uh, the grass is soaked. So yeah, little cul-de-sac, just head back out the way you came in on this little bit. So Edwards Park was originally a farm over a hundred years ago. That's what this uh, campsite is now built on. And if anyone's been in the reception area, you'll see all the old um, farming tools that you have on the wall on display. All the old antique tools. Looks really good. So it must be one of the oldest established parks in town, this one. Saying it's the oldest, but it must be uh, it must be one of the oldest. And you've got caravans of all ages. 
you hear seagulls with attitude <laughs> definitely got attitude if you're carrying food so this bit is a nice open space no ball games to be played on the grass so it's just at the back of these buildings here which we'll show you in a bit I think this might be where the path is at the end of here, let's have a look Yeah, so that path there, like I was saying, that takes you out onto uh, Tower Road. Take that shortcut, brings you out by the church. Okay, let's carry on. These buildings here. You see that these are the old uh, farm buildings from all those years ago. A shop and chippy. It does seem a lot bigger than I remember. Which way should we go? Yeah, let's go this way. Take a quick look down here. Like I say, you've got caravans of all ages here. Which uh, I think is a good thing. I know uh, a lot of caravan sites have like a 10 year age limit. But not everyone can afford new caravans. You know, and as long as they're kept, you know, in a safe you know, in a safe, uh, what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? As long as I get saved, they've got all the certification and all that. Um, then why not? I know I've said this before, but let me know in the comments, guys. Coming in a static caravan when I was little. You always knew you're on holiday. <laughs> you open the caravan door, 
You can smell burnt toast, plywood, and gas. <laughs> Just reminds me of holiday. Probably changed now with these new caravans, but back then, there was three things. Smell like holiday. And some kept some of the caravans never had a telly. So you could go and rent one from the office. And my dad would go around the office, come back with a little black and white telly. And come back, tune it all in. And get one channel, HTV. <laughs> Dog out there. So I think that campsite the other side of the fence is probably Owen's camp. I think it is. I think that one there, uh, Cambria, which is just up there by Golden Gate. Travelling over from Liverpool in the early days before the A55. God, it just seems to take forever. It was stuck a couple of hours like. I drive here. Loved every minute of it. So you got uh, some little swings there, a little park for the kids. Slide climbing frames. So that's had a hammer on this summer. So I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll uh, carry on up here. I'm guessing we can loop around and come back down that way. the end of the season now. Still got another half term to come in a couple of weeks time. So I'll probably pick up a little bit then. Just reach the end of the camp. I think it's a nice sized camp, this as it is now. Um, it's not too big, you know what I mean, it's, uh, but it's not too small either, where it's too compact. A nice little size. So you've all got uh, places to park your car as well, hard standing next to your caravans. The car's not going to sink. That's a nice place, isn't it? Nice little situation for your caravan there. It's on the uh, junction. Nothing in front here.
already on past that uh, little junction I've just shown you. It's a dead end here in the car. So, if you're coming from that direction, up there, then you're going to have to pass to the right hand side of this caravan. This way, and you won't get stuck. Yeah, if I had to pick a place to put my caravan, that would be it. Right there. So this park is uh, its probably about a five, five, ten minute walk up to the uh, Tear Prince Market and Fun Fair. And it's not too far away. I think it's a great location because it's, you know, like I say, uh, you're only minutes away from everything. But you can come away from it as well, if you get what I mean. Plus you're only two minutes from the beach on this park as well. Come off the gates, up the road, turn left. Over the railway bridge and you're on the beach. That's in five minutes. So this is more bins here. But just earlier on in the video there, I showed you the other recycling points that they're near Merlin. So Merlin is that area that I showed you. Excuse me. These skips. So this is the extension that Luke was telling me about. This is a new bit. The DIY going on. Again, you've got another pretty wide open area here. See, most of the park is it's quite uh, open and airy. And you've got a few little roads like that where you're face to face. But even that's not too bad. This little path just takes you out onto the road outside the camp. Turn right, it'll take you up to the uh, the main entrance. Turn left, it'll take you out towards the uh, Golden Gate, and eventually bring you onto uh, the main the main road, Town Road. Now there is CCTV cameras on the site as well, so nice and secure on there, who dotted about. So we're just going to head on back up now towards the, uh, the main buildings and the reception, and the little area where the shop is.
That's where we just went down a few minutes ago. I've done a loop. Came back up this way. Remember years ago, years and years ago, where these uh, caravans are now. I'm sure there used to be a little touring section and uh, spaces for a few tourers. I think I'm right in saying. If anyone remembers, let me know in the comments. Am I right? Pretty sure of us. There's your main reception just along there on the left and the shops which we'll come back to in a sec. Just gonna have a little look along here. This is the front of the uh, park. Just got sort of there, you got Gangview Park as well. Another nice location. Old uh, barns, years and years old. And just here, guys, it's a chip shop. Obviously closed at the moment. And just got you out of the shop there. Get all your little essentials. Got your reception on the left again, new barriers again out. So well with you guys, we want to have a look at this little caravan here for sale. I know you'd all like to have a look. See in there. There you go. Very nice. Tables all laid out. Take your fish and chips in. <laughs> so look at this one. Twenty nine nine five. That last one. Can you see. Very nice. 38, 38.950 that one. I've got a spare 40 grand. There's a little bargain here, look at this. Quite nice. Look at that bargain there, 14,250. To 2004. Right, let's carry on. So we're almost at the end now, guys. Just coming back around towards the gate. Reception. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, 
if you head out that way, it's where that car's going now. Follow the road round to the right, that'll take you up towards Town Crossroads. And if you turn left, you've got Knightley's uh, arcades and pub down there, and the railway bridge to take you onto the beach. Perfect location. guys that's the end of this little walk around Edwards uh, Holiday Park right here in the heart of town great little park and a great location super friendly staff can't recommend this park highly enough to be honest it's uh, it's one that I stayed on many many times over the years um, yeah and I used to love it here so I'm sure you would too so uh, okay guys well, that's it for now don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me uh, subscribe if you're not already I'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves bye for now